Valens Research, Uniform Financial Analytics. Amcor, for those of you who don't know, is a semiconductor equipment manufacturer. When you think of semiconductors, right, the chips that go into your computer, that go into your phone, that now go into your TV, even into your fridge and your dishwasher and your car and everywhere else, one of the key things about those is when you make a semiconductor, you need to test it to make sure that none of the circuits were fried in manufacturing. You also need to have a motherboard for you to be able to put it on. Amcor handles that. What Amcor does is they actually make all of the, they make the testing software for, I mean, they make the testing machinery for you to be able to test to make sure that your semiconductor chips are working. And they also help in other areas of semiconductor equipment. So as you can imagine, very cyclical relative to the semiconductor space. One of the things that jumped out to us about Amcor that we thought was so important is, right, when you think of a semiconductor business, on a legacy basis, these businesses tend to be cost of capital businesses and also cyclical. Well, when you look at Amcor, you can certainly see that's the case. But what jumps out to us about Amcor is how as reported metrics understate how bad this most latest cycle has been for Amcor. On an as reported basis, Amcor's ROA has fallen from around 4% to around 3%, a decline and a low return also at that, but it's not terrible. And because of that, on an as reported basis, right, when people value this company, they're forecasting this company to see returns basically stabilize at around three to 4% levels. The market basically thinks, eh, yeah, it's a stable, boring business, and it's likely to stay that way. In reality, though, ROAs have already declined from 4% to basically 0%. Amcor had a terrible cycle before we got into all the issues that we've had in the last four months that have basically shut down a lot of the supply chain across the world and also called into question whether or not we're going to continue to have as robust a uh, globalization supply chain for semiconductors that would require Amcor's work as we have previously. So Amcor, when we look at it from this perspective, looks like the market's misunderstanding how bad the cycle is and likely to be for the company because of the fact that the as reported metrics distort how profitable this company is now. Valens Research, the world's leading source for uniform financial analytics.